Good morning, folks. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We're doing a review this morning on a Quantum Edge Strato power chair with seven miles. This chair is literally brand new and it's fully loaded. Good morning, folks. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We have a gorgeous power chair here. It's a Quantum Strato, Quantum Edge Strato, Quantum Edge 3 Strato power chair with seven miles. It is fully loaded. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. Now, this one here is one size smaller than the full size Quantum chair. It's a Quantum, but it's a Strato. Strato means a little bit smaller. So this one here is only 21 inches wide. So this chair is built for someone a little bit smaller. So you, you know, a large, large person would not be able to use this chair because you'd have to expand the out, the, the arms out, then you'd be wider than a regular chair. But the way it's set up now, it's set up really small with a small seat, small everything else. So technically it can be in, enlarged a little bit, but if you want this chair, give us a call. We'll tell you what we need to do if you want this chair to fit your body size. So all the function on this chair have to be worked through the joystick. So if you go to the joystick, all you have to do is take this button on the left side that you turn the power on and keep going forward until you see a picture of your seat in the screen. So I'm going to keep going forward. Now I see a picture of the seat on the screen. All I want right now, I want the bottom cushion to be yellow. Right now the back cushion is yellow and the bottom cushion is yellow. I don't want that. I want just the bottom cushion, which is the seat lift. That's the first thing I want to show you. So if you move the joystick sideways, the color will change and move it. Now I see just the bottom cushion is yellow and now go back and forth this way, not this way, but this way. If I pull it back, you'll see the seat to start to go up. So when you start with this, the seat will be roughly at 22 inches. When you go all the way up, by the time you're all the way up, you'll be at 34 inches. You'll, you'll, you will be eye level with someone. And what that means is when you're driving this chair, You'll be, you'll be driving and someone can be walking, you'll be talking at the same eye level, okay? The nice thing about this chair, when you put it back to drive, you can still drive the chair at a good speed because you can see with the eye level, you can still drive the chair at a good speed. Let's look at the base on this chair. It's, okay. it's a gorgeous power chair, folks, and it's built like a tank. This chair weighs probably somewhere close to 425 pounds, so it's a heavy power chair. This is considered a mid-wheel drive chair. Mid-wheel drive means your drive wheel, which is your big wheel, are going to be between these two wheels. Now, it's not exactly between, but it's in the middle, okay? When you have a drive, and this is, these are 14-inch tires, they're not going to mark your floor. When you have a mid-wheel drive, you're always going to have a caster wheel on the ground in front and a caster wheel on the ground in the back to keep that stability like this, okay? And when you turn a circle, these wheels will turn like this in a circle, and that's why you get that nice tight radius, okay? You have an anchor point here, and you see how well built this is. This is all metal. Anchor point here, anchor point here. You have four of these around the chair. This is where you secure your chair if you're going to transport it, right here, okay? Look at the suspension. You have four of these around the chair. These are the suspension for each fork has independent suspension. If I pull down, you'll see that fork right there. Ah, the chair is heavy, so you can see the, the, the suspension working right there. You have a motor for each wheel. This motor right here goes directly to the hub. There's no chain, no belt, no noise, direct drive, no maintenance. Now, if I had to push this chair like a car, if I want to put it in neutral, if I have an issue with the chair, hopefully you never do, but if you have an issue, how are you going to push it? See, it's, it's heavy and it's, it's a 450 pounds, somewhere around there. Just turn the power off over here because these are electric motors. Turn the power off and you can't miss the yellow handle. Take that yellow handle, push it down, and now you're in neutral. Do both motors and you can roll your chair around wherever you want to go, okay? That's how you put it in neutral. When you're done, put it back in gear and you're ready to go. Because of the weight of this chair and with another 200 pound person in here and all the suspension, this is gonna give you such a smooth ride, okay? You can see the armature for the seat lift. You can see the actuator right here for the seat lift. You can see the construction, the color is beautiful. It's, I couldn't tell, it's green, but it's a different type of green. Just a beautiful power chair. All right, so now we've done that. We're gonna turn the power back on because we turned it off to put it in neutral. And now we're going to go back to the seat and 
We're going to go back to the bottom and we're going to bring the seat down. Now let's just say you have someone who has this chair and they have trouble getting out of their chair. Okay? Well, the nice thing about this chair, if you leave the seat elevated before you get out of your chair, all you have to do is push yourself here and you're out of the chair. So if you have a loved one you need to grab, get him out, it's a lot easier with the seat lift. So I'm gonna bring the seat all the way down. While the seat's going down, let me show you this. This is called a swing away joystick. It takes the, swing, the, the joystick from here and it brings it over here so you, and it, you're able to get closer to a dining table without hitting your joystick. If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on this side with no problem. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the seat yellow on both cushion like it was earlier. And now I'm going to pull this back. This is called tilt. When the bottom goes back, of course, everything's going to go. The legs and the back is are all connected. This is really good if you need to uh, take pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back. You want to have circulation in your legs. That's really good for that. And the next thing I'm going to do is just the feet just to show you. Now remember, um, we can adjust these seats. So if you're five feet tall, or you're five feet eight, or you're five feet four, or you're six foot and you're skinny, you could still use this chair. Uh, we can adjust the seat depth. We can adjust everything on this chair to fit your body size. Now that's a little extreme, but if you need some circulation, you can see how you can do it. Now the next thing I'm gonna show, I'm gonna bring it back down so you can see, even if we do it halfway tilted, even here folks your feet are still higher than your body okay so we've done the seat lift we've done the tilt we've done the legs out the last thing to do is the recline so the recline is just the back on here yellow so I got that on yellow push this back and you can see the back you can see it going back by itself this is called the electric recline These chairs are so amazing now and so, so well built. And now we've got, this is what it would look like if you were in your chair, okay? Uh, and you can stop any position you want. I mean, I just brought it all the way down, all the way back, but you can go any position you want. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna do two things I want. I'm gonna bring the seat up and the legs down at the same time. So I've got the legs yellow and the back yellow in my screen, and I'm pushing the joystick forward. That will bring two things at once. And I'm going to bring the legs all the way in for now, just to show you, because if you have it in the house, I'm just going to do the legs. If you have it in the house, you want those legs all the way in, because you want the best turning radius. So we're going to put it back in drive. So if you're in the house, that's what it looks like, folks. So if you're turning, look, how the, look at the small radius it takes to turn this chair. And you can go on both sides, huh? So let's look at the seat on this chair. The seat on this chair right now is like 16 by 18. It doesn't really matter. We can make the seat a little bit larger and still keep the chair within 21 inches. So right now, this chair here, if you were to go through a door, you're at 22 inches right now. 22 inches if you want to go through a door and we can bring these arms in a little bit more to make it 21 inches Because the base on the chair is only 20, 20 21 inches. Okay, so it's a very narrow chair But you're still getting all the benefit of a big chair, but it's in a smaller frame Okay, the arms on this chair. I forgot to mention these are all gel You might be able to see from there, but these are gel arms. These are this is a very high upgrade so Gel, gel arms, and of course the arms flip up, so if you transfer from one chair to another, there's nothing in your way right here, okay? Right here is a button. If I tap it, we have headlights and tail lights. You can see the headlights, and you can see the tail lights right here. But when you get this chair, that button's not going to be there, okay? I'm going to move it away because you go through a door, that button's going to be gone, okay? So we're going to move that button under here, okay? So when you get this chair, it'll be right here under the frame where it should be, not there, because that's not a good place. 
The headrest is fully adjustable. As you can see, it's contoured. Fully adjustable with all these adjustments back and forth, up and down. Fully adjustable and, and removable, I guess. I'm going to tighten it up. And we're going to turn the lights off. And I think we've covered everything. So when you go to charge this chair, you will take your charger. We'll use this one for example. This may not be the charger, but this is where you would plug it. And as soon as the light goes to full or green, the charger will stop charging when the batteries are full. Okay? Let's do a recap on this chair. This is a Quantum Edge 3 Stretto. So it's a Quantum Edge 3, but the smaller size, the Stretto. This one is only about 21 inches to 22 inches wide, so it gives you that extra 2 to 3 inches to get through a door. But you know, if you make the chair any bigger, then you might as well go through a bigger chair. Uh, it has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. It has the swing away joystick, it has of course the lights, it has the gel arm, the adjustable headrest, the memory foam cushions. This is a memory foam over here, and this is a J cushion. It has solid tires. It has the anchor point suspension all the way around. Folks, this is a super nice power chair. So if you're looking for a smaller power chair, so you don't go, if you have a limited space in your home, or you just want a smaller power chair, when you travel, go to a restaurant, you're not so big, um, this would fit the bill really good. It, it, it only has seven miles. So it was used less than a week. Super, super nice. Top speed is about 6.1 miles an hour, which is pretty fast. And when you stop, it breaks automatically. So let me do it again. I'll stop right there and you'll see it, you'll see it break. It has built-in brakes in the motor, so when you let go within a few feet, it'll brake on you. Now, I'm, I'm driving it at a full speed. You have like five speeds on here. If I put it on speed number one, this is speed number one. I mean, you can't get in too much trouble at this speed. For if you have someone who's a little skittish, look at this. Look how slow it turns. So that's speed number one. I'm gonna put it back to speed five because I'm a speed demon. All right. We're gonna go in the grass with it a little bit. These chairs have no problem in the grass. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna elevate the seat so you can see me driving the chair with the seat elevated. So if you're gonna drive this chair with the seat elevated, please, nice, flat surface, okay? Uh, as I said earlier, you can do, and if, when you work with a chair like this in your kitchen, you, you don't come forward, you come sideways. So the, the sink would be here, on the opposite side of your joystick, you don't get it wet, okay? So if you're going to do any dishes, you do it this side here, okay, and you come in from this side. Uh, so the seat is elevated. Let's just drive it. Let's see how fast it goes with the seat elevated. Three and a half miles an hour, which is very fast for a chair with a seat elevated but 12 inches. So the top speed on this chair with the seat elevated is three and a half miles an hour, which is a lot faster than walking. So you can see the seat elevation. Uh, it has the tilt, the recline, the legs. This chair has eight miles now, so it went from seven to eight miles. So let's just say it's got eight miles total. Uh, swing away joystick, memory foam cushion, gel arms, lights. Just a nice power chair. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.